scissor ends, and we're doing a little bit of sewing. Have you ever heard of the puppy, kitty, horse surprise things? They're kind of creepy. They look a little bit terrifying, and you just kind of open up their stomach womb and reach inside to grab out the babies, and you don't know how much you're getting. At least that's what I think, because I never really bought one. I see them at the thrift store all the time, and they creep me out. But when I was there, I kind of thought they kind of remind me of, you know, like rubber face dolls. What do you call them? I can't remember. Uh, the rubber face dolls from the 50s. Can't remember the exact name. But they're cute, but also like terrifying in a way. But that's like really what I'm drawn to. So I popped by the thrift store and I found a bunch of these ugly heads. <laughs> They are not my favorite. They don't have good makeup. I do not like them. This one terrifies me the most. Uh, I don't know something about this horse beak mouth thing. It's just not doing it for me. But I picked it up because it was super cheap because I get everything at Goodwill Clearance Center. It cost me like five cents. Anyways. I decided to rip them all apart and try to make my own kind of stuffed animal with their terrifying rubber solace eyes. Okay, I'll get started with that. So I have to start with this little cute, I don't know what brand he is. Nemcor Little Miracles. I think he's a lamb. He's got little cute ears on the side of his head and he's got a bit of a tear in the front of him, but we're just gonna sew that up. I really like about him was his face. I just think he's really sweet looking. I like his eyes. I really have a thing for embroidered eyes rather than just, you know, cartoony eyes. I also have this kind of weird plasticky ribbon thing. I just think it's so cute. I just love the creaminess of it. It came on some kind of wrapping, but I'll just definitely tie that onto the side so he looks cute. Like you guys have Hello. Cute baby boy. First thing I'm gonna do is just fix up that hole. I'm just doing a quick ladder stitch to hide it. Nothing too complicated. And I really don't need to do it, but I don't want his insides to just start falling out, so. Okay, now we're going this way. This is not how you do it neatly, folks. I don't know what I'm doing. I just go in and out. Okay, there we go. No, oh, never mind. Hold on. Go back in there. <laughs> So he does kind of look dingy. There's like weird stains on him and he's kind of grayish, but I think it's kind of cute and I don't know how I would fix that. Maybe that's just what he's supposed to look Can I oxyclean this thing? Who knows, but he's cute anyways. I'm gonna cut out this little guy's face and I'm going to remake this body in. This fluffy white sweater that I've been using on like six projects now, super soft. I'm gonna put my YouTube video back on and I'm going to do this really fast. Go! And I'm gonna cut this face off, even though it's really cute. I want to use it for another project. Snippy snippy time.
always felt like these rooms around him. I'm gonna see if I can shove it in there. He doesn't have eyes yet, so he's a little scary. Please don't mind him. I just wanna see if it fits. Okay, stop wiggles. All right, here he is all clothed up. Sorry, he's not, he's kind of big for the frame, but I want to dress him up. So I have two options, I guess maybe like four. I have this really cute Webkin's pajama set that I got at the Goodwill Clearance Center. It's really cute. It kind of reminds me of like a sleeping animal thing. So yeah. So yeah, okay. And then I have this shirt that I got in Korea forever ago and this pair of pants that I got along with it. But I might just do the shirt. Not sure if I just want to do shirts or just want to do no shirts and pants. It's like a full outfit. So let's try them on. Actually, pants go on first. Well, that really makes his eyes pop. I think these are meant to go around his arms to keep them up. I'm not exactly sure. They're kind of long. They seem to have lost their elasticity. It's cute. It's a little tight though. It does look like a sleepy boy. His like shirt's popping. I'll we'll just try this on. I love navy blue. It's like my favorite color. So, but it is a little little bit kind of dingy because I've had it a while. So that's not too bad. Thank you. Might just take that this necklace thing off. Oh, now that's hello. So that is my child for now. I guess we'll figure out what I want to do with them later. But he's cute. Ooh. Even though he is a little spooky with his spooky eyeballs. All right. Here he is. His name's Spooky. Everyone meet Spooky. He's got a name tag that even says his name so you don't forget it. It's Spooky. Isn't he like a little bit absolutely terrifying though? I love it. He smells so good. I think I put like lavender lemonade something in it so he smells like sweet and floral and I love it. Yeah, he jingles. He's got a little bill there. He's got the flattest butt in the world and he's got a very weird neck but he's very cute nonetheless. I like the shirt. I don't know what I've got for like these pantsless dudes but I don't know. Debating whether to do it his feet but uh, at the end I think I'm really happy with him. His soul eyes just stare right into your soul and I love it. Thank you guys for hanging out. Spooky says goodbye. And I'll talk to you later when I have another project to do. I'm so tired. <laughs>